Hey guys, Ralph here, and welcome to True Power Trumpet Fitness on Sensational Sunday here in Connecticut. Yesterday, I gave you Vacchiano's Promenade. Now, is that beautiful? Was that just beautiful? I got some comments, you know, I appreciate the greatness, not my cup of tea, all that sort of stuff. And I completely 100% understand all of that. I'm sure every single one of you has your own favorite. But that's, that's my top two, okay? And love you, Bill, but I gotta go with the one I'm putting down below. And that's her Seth with the Chicago Symphony and Schulte. Schulte. As extraordinary as they both are, her Seth's tone, <laughs> more centered, a little more centered. And I, you know, anybody that's been watching this know that's what I'm after. That's what I'm after absolutely stunningly beautiful okay now this one was uh taped this link below was taped at a concert in japan okay and what i want you to do is uh Bacchiano is just the promenade and they're going to come out and they're going to do the promenade and you're going to and not just and not just her that whole brass section uh that was vosberg that was sitting next to him on one and jay friedman on the other oh please just out of this mind, out of this world, great, okay? The whole brass section. But Herseth kills it. Now also, I want you to take a look. He turns beet red. That's very, very common. I noticed that when I saw him at Carnegie Hall too. And I'll tell you what, man. Obviously, I was not sitting in this hall in Japan. But I did hear him, I've told you many times, the original with Arnold Jacobs and the whole nine yards in Carnegie Hall. And I was talking about this with a student just the other day. This student has, um, likes drum corps and marching band and all this sort of stuff. And years ago, when I was teaching with uh, the high school in Stanford High, they had a workshop slash clinic with the uh, drum and bugle corps, the Blue Devils, okay? And they would, you know, rehearse on the, you know, the field and all this sort of stuff. And that was the second time in my life that sound was actually palpable. I could feel the sound. They were on the, it was just rehearsal, but they were on the football field, their formations and all this sort of stuff. And I am sitting with the band director up in the football, the seats. You could literally, you could feel the sound. And that is what I heard for the first time experienced the first time in the Chicago Symphony. At Carnegie Hall, up in the cheap seats, you could literally feel the sound. And I don't want to put words in anybody's mouth, but when you hear the ovation, and I'm going to ask you to do that at the end, I guarantee you, that is what that audience was witnessing. The sound, the brilliance of that sound was palpable. You could feel it. Literally, it tactile. You could, you could taste it almost. Anyway, what I want you to do, after you hear the promenade and compare the two promenades, Vacchiano, Herseth, blah, blah, blah. And I'm sure you have your own. Anybody wants to link their own? Um, one of the, the guys said he was privy to uh, Bernard Edelstein. And I have, to do a, um, I have to do a video on that. Great, great player. Anyway, um, jump to the end. Uh, at 27 minutes and 30 seconds, they begin the Great Gate of Kiev. See, this is why, you see, I'm so excited. This is what gets me going with trumpet. There is nothing technically difficult about that promenade and the Great Gate of Kiev. It is just pure, pure tone. It's half notes. Bum, 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 bum. Any middle school band, <laughs> orchestra can play every day. It's not technically hard, but the beauty of the sound is incredible. So they start that, and I want you to listen to that. You see how red he gets towards the end. But at 33 minutes, okay, so 33 minutes, they're done. You are not going to believe the ovation. It was spontaneous. It was overwhelming. And I'm telling you, that's why I'm saying 
they felt at that moment what I felt in Carnegie Hall. Okay? Now also, at, I wrote it down, at 34, they're going to finish, Schulte walks off, he comes back out, and he starts having everybody stand up. And they didn't show Herseth, but at one point when they have the, the camera fixed on Schulte and he's having people stand up, even though the place is going nuts, it literally takes the roof off for about 30 seconds and they showed the orchestra and the orchestra was going crazy, clapping and tapping their bows and all this sort of stuff. And they showed Jay Friedman, the trombone player. And Jay Friedman is a great player and that's an, another video. But in this piece, they couldn't have possibly been cheering for Jay Friedman. Herseth is the one that had the solos. He, Herseth is the one that you know, led the band in... Uh, picks that in exhibition. And also there is another solo in Samuel Goldberg and Shamil, which is much more technically difficult, though not as, um, how can I say, impressively uh, tone-wise. It's a piccolo solo, but that's great too. So it, the ovation had to have been for her Seth, even though they didn't show. So anyway, those are my takes, two of my favorite recordings of that promenade, and I told you, I told you yesterday that promenade means something special to me. So the first time I heard it, I said, man, I have to be able to do that. I said that when I heard Maynard Ferguson the first time, I have to be able to do that. And I guess to a certain degree, I've done that. <laughs> anyway, um, anyway, have a great Sunday, enjoy this. Check out, check out 27 Minutes and check out that ovation. Okay? Guys, six minutes. What else are you going to do? Watch football today? Come on. Take six minutes and listen to the greatest orchestra and the greatest orchestral brass section of all time. And I say this before, and I'm no an old fart. No brass section is in the stratosphere today as to what that was. And that's not a knock on anybody. That's the best. Anyway, eat and drink your fruits and vegetables. And have a great Sunday, and we'll... Get into a little more chop pedagogy tomorrow. Love you all.